Do you think I'm weak? Like, you think I have to have shots? <laughs> I needed the shots. I needed the shots. I also came out with some belt bag keychains. I am so obsessed with them. Like, you wake up one day and trucks no longer be by you. I don't know the last time I drove past a trucker and I got a honk. Welcome back to my dungeon and happy Mother's Day for all you beautiful mamas out there. I don't know what it is. I don't like looking at shoes and so I don't want you guys looking at our shoes. <laughs> we just packaged up an order, technically three. So I got two orders yesterday, one on TikTok and one on Etsy. Etsy is from Amy. Amy was a share and save, which means she clicked my link from YouTube, which means I have a feeling you're watching. So thank you so much, Amy. She ordered the pink uh, my or today's vibe and it had like the clouds and the um, raining hearts. It's the cutest one. And I am taking a break from them. So I only have I think like four of today's vibes one left. I'm taking a break because my machine and I fight constantly. And as you guys know, if you've been around for the saga, um, we're not friends. Like she is not my friend. And the only one I don't fight that much on with her, actually all of them. I fight on all of them. The mama ones have been doing well as far as me making them, not selling. <laughs> I think I sold three like in total maybe two I'm not sure um yeah so she actually hasn't been turned on in a month sorry but yeah I and I've told you guys I'm taking a step back so I'm, I'm sure I during the fall I will reopen and I'll probably uh start doing my attempting to do those again which is a learning curve every time I stop doing them and start them again because I'm like what was the exact settings I used for us not to fight um anyways I had one already done I didn't have to make it thank the lord so she bought like one I had already had a good one of um so amazing and then she did a custom Stanley charm she's the first one that did a custom Stanley charm and she had me write explore on it so it's really cute I will have it already on screen for you because I packed it up on, um, hopefully it was falling. And then she ordered a strawberry charm, so that's exciting. I rarely, rarely, rarely get clothing orders online. I think the only ones I ever had were from Nicole, Amy, and Rita. I'm pretty sure those are the only three. <laughs> when I sell clothing, it's like exclusively at markets but it's summer and I've never done summer markets, so I can't imagine I'm gonna do well with my sweatshirts. I do have, I forget if I've shown you this or not. Stop me if I have, I'm just kidding, you can't because it's just me in here. I bought like 12 Comfort Colors t-shirts. I died over this color. This is the prettiest color. So like, I'm sure I'm gonna keep one, so I only have three of them. Um, I don't even remember, I think they might have only had XLs in this, that's okay. I don't mind. Um, she's really pretty. I have a, I haven't even opened it because I've one, I've been busy making bookmarks, and two, I just don't sell clothing. Um, but also, I didn't want to make like for the markets that I had this past month. They were one days. So I'm like, is it really worth dragging that much stuff to? I don't think so. But I have a three day this upcoming weekend, so I'm like, it's killing me. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and make these this week. Just because it is summer now, well, almost, and it's going to be warm, so it's not like people are going to be out cold and mean like I want sweatshirts. 
I mean, they're gonna be out being like, it's too hot to buy sweatshirts, you know? I have a million bookmark designs I still need to put out. Um, I mentioned that I was gonna start not taking my build a bookmark charm bar to my shows. I still don't know for sure. Um, so I have a ton of charms I need to make. So there's gonna be just like random mini collections coming out. Um, I have a ton of beads still, like it's been weeks in the mail. I have, I got tipsy one night and was like, I need to make a strawberry. I was, I think it was one of the nights where I sold like 20 strawberry bookmarks and I was like, I need to just buy the rest of them that they have because a few of my designs I've just said this before, have gone out of stock and just are not coming back. Like, they're just discontinued now. And like, I need to just buy them just in case they discontinue the materials that I'm using for the strawberry bookmark. And so I bought all, <laughs> everything they had, um, pretty much, pretty much, not all of it, because I'm like, I can't spend $700, <laughs> um, not, at least not today. And then I started, like, I started, I would, <laughs> never do this. Uh, I went to the bead section of Timu and um, looked at like newest and I just started adding like random dang beads to my cart and so like now I have I think a frog collection coming out, a princess collection coming out, like random ones. So I'm like well I need to like in my mind I think this is what was happening where I was like I need to attract some of the kid stuff and also like frogs, come on. Can you really like be disappointed in frogs? Um, princesses, I'm still thinking I might return that one because like do I really want like a Cinderella type collection? I don't think so. Um, but we'll see how the beads look. I don't remember. I think I I think it's like a carriage and um I don't know. This the literally I did this back in like mid-April and it's mid-May now. I don't remember. I truly do not remember. I had a cowgirl one. That one I would that one I wasn't gonna put online. I was just gonna bring it to uh my like Preble County like a country area markets but um I didn't ever make I've had that since like January <laughs> and I haven't made it yet so I don't know when that's coming um if it ever will. I might do those. I think I might actually use the, um, I have like a cowgirl hat and a cowgirl boot, like matching black charms. I might do those on Stanley bags, like do my Stanley bag charms with them that I still have not made. I still have a really pretty butterfly bookmark that I've had designed in my head and I have all the materials for and I've had it for months and I haven't done, there, there's so many things where I'm like, I need to do this, but then I'm like constantly doing other things where I have not made the time for it. What am I doing on here? What's I going to tell you guys? Um, I don't know. I think I just wanted to update you on the YouTube um, most likely order. It definitely, definitely YouTube order from Etsy. And she is from Arizona. Oh, we have like only six or seven states left we have not shipped to. And they're all in that like South Dakota, North Dakota, Nebraska, um, Alaska. We haven't. It's just like the really what's the word I'm looking for like low populated states where there's more land than people that's where we have not sold <laughs> they're gonna take a while and Delaware um so oh I was rearranging in here um I have a table that I'm not gonna be bringing to my markets at least not in the foreseeable future because I really liked only having one table at the last market I went to um and so I'm gonna have it as my at the moment my permanent uh, display like shipping table for here in my office and um, I was just kind of rearranging some of this. This is unfortunately right in front of the window which means it's going to be my cat's area too. So we're going to have to make sure they're not going to like mess up anything if they jump when they jump up. <sighs> Okay, I think for the rest of the day, I am just going, we still have to unload all this stuff from the market yesterday, and um, then I have to find homes for it, so that's going to take me a while. And then I want to go to the park with Asher when he wakes up. He is currently napping, but within the next half hour, it will be wake time. Um, Mother's Day, we have, so far, we went to a bagel shop for brunch. And then we went to Kohl's because we were supposed to be getting Sephora this week, but they're um, still not open. They were supposed to open yesterday. It did not happen. They are still like very much 
trying to stock the shelf so later this week so then well, i wanted eyebrow gel and so then we went to tj maxx and they had so much stuff like in their makeup section i had it in my hands and then i'm like Brittany, you do not need this like i had a kylie highlighter i don't think i've ever had a kylie makeup product don't quote me on that um and it was beautiful and i had it but i was like why you know like i love my goop super goop highlighter um uh, it's called the color glow and it's spf highlighter it's so pretty so i'm like i love that why bother getting another one so um yeah check your tg max out they had um glossier and they had kat von d stila mac cosmetics like they're good they're on their a game with makeup right now um and then i got a pair oh i got a pair of shoes I've been wanting a new pair of shoes for months now. And since it was Mother's Day, I got some. They're by Skechers, and they're just a cute little white, like, neutral pair of shoes. And they're um, very comfy, very comfy. So, so excited about those. I want to say they were $44 is, yeah, what the tag says. And then I found an eyebrow gel. I really wanted the Kosas one. It's with a Sephora birthday gifts. It was amazing. So that's what we went to Sephora for. Since they weren't open, we went obviously to do Max. I got Almay Clear Eyebrow Gel $3.99. I was like, that's worth trying. Hopefully I like it. So that was my Mother's Day. And then we're gonna, oh, we went to Walmart also. Um, I had to pick up my last, finally last month of Accutane. I'm so excited. I'm so over the nonsense it takes every single month to get my prescription um, and how many times I have to like call and check in to get the um, prescription from the pharmacy. I'm so over it. I'm so over it. My skin's doing awesome. I'm very happy. I'm not happy about the price of it because we just got the bill in for my dermatologist and I did not realize that because you have to do a <laughs> not meeting like a visit every month. Like, I didn't realize how much an office visit was for simply a five-minute meeting of how's your face and skin doing, here's your next prescription. No idea. That was the cost. I am praying <laughs> my skin stays clear because the amount for the medicine and the office visits to get the medicine, and I still have two more visits afterwards. <sighs> the price of beauty. Yesterday though, I didn't even tell you guys this in my check-in. Um, I'm gonna brag about it because I have not had a compliment like, like that in a in years, like years. Like we're talking, um, I'm at this stage in life where like you wake up one day and trucks no longer beep at you. <laughs> I don't know the last time I drove past a trucker and I got a honk. I never thought I would miss those days, but I do. But anyway, <laughs> I um, was like, the I think I told you guys that the girls that kept like walking around the whole day and kept coming and like buying different things. Um, and the one girl was like, she was looking at my necklace, this one. And it says mama. And she was like, you're a mama. And um, I was a little confused at first. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, he's at home. And she's like, you don't look old enough to have a kid. And I was what? <laughs> and I was like, well, I am in my 30s. And she was like, shut up. No, you are not. And she was like, skincare these days be popping. Um, yeah, I felt good in that moment, you know? And I just needed to share that because sometimes you need those comments. I'm going to start saying that to people now. But it made me feel really good. <laughs> and yes, um... I do feel like what I, I don't know if I've said this before so I've had a few YouTube friends over the past and I had when I first started I had a YouTube friend that she was like a solid 20 years older than me and her name I want to say and I don't remember and I feel bad because like she's like I don't think she makes videos anymore because I've not seen her in a very long time but you know the algorithm really messes sometimes even if you're subscribed I want to say her name was Lisa um but she was probably like mid 40s but her skin looked so good and I remember asking one time I'm pretty sure I asked that or the video was about it um 
like what kind of skincare she used and she's like the best advice I have ever gotten um was from my mother-in-law who said if you don't want to age like if you don't want your skin to age and you don't want to get Botox and all that um just don't make facial expressions and she was like and I have lived by that I do not make dramatic expressions with my face like I do not move my uh forehead when I smile and uh, she doesn't like like squint her eyes much like they're I follow, I've followed that advice since like early 20s and I honestly think it has worked thus far. Granted, I'm like mid 30s, so like cool it, right? You, I shouldn't be that wrinkly anyways, but like I don't ever go like this. I don't do it and it's because of what she said. The only thing I do, I have gotten laugh lines since I was like 14, you know? this is not gonna go away and I haven't got like Botox or anything I'm not saying I wouldn't get Botox and I definitely don't judge people like get Botox I just like one can't afford it and two I don't feel like I need it at the moment but again we're 34 here you know um but yeah I don't take that advice if you want I feel like like if you really need to make a facial expression you'll make it you know like if <laughs> there's something that is just like extremely funny I'm sure my face moves but for the most part like when I'm talking I don't move my eyebrows and I don't like I don't know I don't even know what am I going with this yeah that's that's at least something I wanted to share of like what I had been taught like 15 years ago <laughs> So hopefully that continues anyways I'm gonna go and I will see you maybe tomorrow maybe not for sure later this week because we have mustard seed market which is two hours away did i mention my mom got us a hotel for friday because the market ends at eight and it's a two hour drive and like i'm in an outside tent and that means i'm gonna be packing my stuff up like my like uh stuff i'm selling so that it doesn't like if it's raining or whatever none of it gets wet so i'm gonna have to pack unpack and pack every single day and so we're not yeah we're not gonna drive two hours to just come back like six hours later you know on another two-hour drive so the first night we're getting a hotel and then the second night and third night or not night I'm just driving back and forth so that is happening and we really don't have any prep except for I might do some of those t-shirts I might not I don't really know yet and that concludes my Britney talk. So I will see you soon. Bye. I have hair. I have hair. It's there. You can't see it right now. Oh, hi. It's Monday, day after Mother's Day. I just got the heaviest, not the biggest, the heaviest package. And they made me sign for it. I've never had to sign for one of those packages before. Um, also, when I moved the table yesterday, I didn't realize like that meant I'd have to put my bins <laughs> right there. So aesthetically pleasing, it is not. Let me just zen right here though. I'm approximately 10 minutes before I need to get up Asher because we have speech therapy. Just kidding, we have um, developmental therapy in like half an hour and this place is a mess. And I need to feed him still because he refused to eat lunch. He's just been refusing to eat lately. And it's strange because he's always just like loved eating. He's a toddler though. Um, trying not to get like upset and I just hate wasting food. And then I end up eating it. And like we all know I am trying to be healthier. Uh, and honestly, I do think his food and like him not eating food has had me getting a little bit thicker in certain areas. <laughs> so um, I don't love that for me. Um, I did just come out with today. I listed two new bookmarks. As you guys know, my cute little jelly doggy is sold out now and I don't think I'll ever get them back in stock. I do think I'll be able to put, I have more, I think I have 10 total dogs left that I didn't have enough materials to you like, excuse me, um, didn't have enough materials to put them together. Like I ran out and I, had one of the little charms come back in stock, but only five of them did. And so I bought five of them. And so I could make five, but then I realized I'm fully out of um, a different bead. And I can get that in, and I am getting that in. It's probably actually in this order now. It actually might not be. I think for some reason that one like shipped by itself. 
weird. But anyways, um, so I'll be able to put five up at some point. I just don't know when. But I came out with volume two. They're just the little metallic versions. Honestly, the dog itself is a lot bigger. Let me show you the difference. I thought he was going to be the same size, but that is not the case. Like, there's a size difference there. I They're still really cute. I don't think them being big <laughs> is bad. It's just I wasn't expecting it. So we have a metallic and a metallic, um, a blue and a green. And this one was more see-through, which, like, I still, I still love him more, but I think these are a good in-between substitute right now. And I have a little more color to them. So I'm excited to launch that and see how it goes. I'm still really obsessed right now with my gummy bear ones. I don't know how not a single one of these sold at my market on Saturday. The only bookmark I sold other than a custom bookmark um, is a cat bookmark. It was, let me show you, it was this guy. My blue and white flora one, which I mean, like, yeah, they're beautiful, but I expected a different one to sell first. Cats, the cats, I need to get a new cat bookmark out because I always sell cat bookmarks at every market. I usually at least sell one cat bookmark, which doesn't sound like a lot, but like if you're not selling much at all at a market and you get one order, it's worth continuing to have. Uh, because my sample size isn't very large at the markets where there's not a lot of people. Um, I have, I think, 10. Yeah, I have 10 of these made right now. So I'm going to continue making them. And then I need to get, I, I have so many beads to put the different orders out. Speaking of beads, let's go ahead and open it. This is my tipsy order. So just, just so we're aware when we're opening this. Um, and I watch the Pink Petal Gems. I love her videos. She makes bookmarks too. And... She had just announced, <laughs> like yesterday I was watching her video and she was like, I'm coming out with, uh, with a Bridgerton bookmark. And I'm like, oh crap. Like I don't want, I told you guys I had that princess one coming. Um, and it's not Bridgerton. I don't even watch Bridgerton. But if I, what I know of Bridgerton, it's like royal and you think prince and princesses. So I'm hoping that they're different enough to where I might just return them. I'm still in that, like, I think I'm going to return it phase. But I don't want to come out with a note, like a bookmark that's, like, similar to someone else's. The only one, and I go on Etsy and, like, research. Like, if I have an idea, I go in Etsy and be like, let me make sure this is not already, like, someone else's. You know what I mean? Like, even though everyone's designs are different, I don't want it to be just like someone else's. Because, one, you're not going to have, like, uh, the market share. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> the only one that I have that I... Think is similar to someone else's is um pink puddle gems because i watch her stuff i can see her stuff sometimes she has a gorgeous strawberry bookmark definitely check her out she has beautiful beautiful bookmarks but she has a red like um a traditional like strawberry looking bookmark whereas mine it, it's a strawberry but it's like more of um like a fun cutesy one they're different there is there are a few other um pink puddle gems doesn't have it forget what bookmark brand it is. Someone not on YouTube, it's just on Etsy. There's a few of my like uh, A Court of Throne bookmarks, but they don't look anything like mine. So again, I try to like stay away from other people's stuff. <laughs> Truthfully, where I get like inspiration is just browsing the websites of uh, different like bead suppliers and then I'm like oh that is adorable and then I buy beads based off of that one um like coordinating ones I need to change my battery if you can't hear that annoying screeching buzzing noise it's because the electrician showed up today and fixed it mm. it was $75 for the service call I don't think I have to pay anything else but we'll see if I get a bill in the mail um, all they had to do, I am opening this. It is so heavy. This is a solid, like, 15 pounds. The only thing I have to do is, um, no, what was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. But, um, so I got a call this morning. Because remember, they didn't tell me when they were coming, like, what time frame they were coming, anything at all. I called this morning, and it was from the owner being like, um, 
your service call is this morning, so um, I don't know when, it's just whenever the last one gets finished. So again, like, I'm glad they called me to tell me that they were coming, but it wasn't like a call of, can you be home today? It's, you better be home today, you know what I mean? But they were super nice, and um, yeah, everything is good now. Oh yeah, okay, so this order, we I bought all the rest of the strawberries, um, I think almost all of them. Uh, yeah, I bought some mixed packs, so I have a yellow and a white one to play with, and an orangish one. Apparently, I got another. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't realize I had already bought mushrooms, and I bought more mushrooms, but a different type of mushroom. So that's whatever. More of my connectors, but a yellow one for my yellow strawberries that are coming. Got some blue strawberries and blue connector charms. I'm gonna be so busy. I'm trying to find those weird, like the weird charms. Okay, I did place two orders within 24 hours, and I think this was my second order, like not the first one I placed. That's the one that has all the weird ones, and this was not my like tipsy order. This was just my freaking out because I had a video go viral. Um, and I didn't think I would have enough strawberries for it ordered. So yeah, it's literally a ton, a ton, a ton of strawberries. That's what this is. And some random mushrooms. Um, and so I probably tomorrow you'll see the weird beads. Let me go wash my hands. So this bag is nasty. Um, another side note here. And t <laughs> tell me if I'm being just like... Like, tell me to calm down. I, I am calm. Like, I'm not, like, it's not fuming about this. But I'm just like, that's, like, why? I don't understand it. So, some markets you have to pay to apply. And I, to an extent, get it. Do I like it? Absolutely not. Has it made me not want to apply to some markets? Sure, I definitely have said no to be, because I'm like, well, if you have to pay to apply, most likely there's way too many people trying to get in and so like is it even worth spending the ten dollars and I applied to one and I really wanted to get into this one like it's right next to where my sister lives I was just gonna like spend the night there it's a one day um, I love the area and I paid the ten dollars and I saw it go through I got a like and a follow from the market. So essentially you pay, you're paying $10 for a like and a follow. Um, but immediately when I got my rejection letter, I like every everything this, like the show is awesome. It looks really cool, it's vibey. Um, every post, I like it. It doesn't matter if I don't like actually like, I'm gonna like the post. Like I just do that because like it's supporting uh, something that like I want to go to someday you know what I mean uh, even if I'm rejected I'm still liking it I'm still like trying to hype it up uh, but they unfollowed me right then like what is the point what why follow and then unfollow your businesses that are trying to get in your markets like I don't understand like what was I know for a fact it wasn't like my content was um like upsetting you know what I mean like <laughs> I just like don't follow the businesses just to unfollow them and I went to their profile and because I don't have like I have 80 followers on Instagram like I know if someone unfollows me like I just I mean I, I know I don't have followers um, and I wasn't even looking to see if they specifically did but I'm just like That's, you know it's weird I only ever had that one like from them I'm constantly interacting with like their post I'm, like I went to their profile they have their like follower to um, following difference is dramatic. Like they don't follow many people. I'm like, that's like interesting. If I'm one of their few followers and they follow everyone that applies to the market and they said they had like a thousand people apply um, and only like 80 got in. Yes, that's like $10,000 they got from applications. Like, why are you going to go back after the fact and unfollow all these people? I just felt a little shaded by that. I still want to go to their dang market next year, though. Was that the only thing I wanted to rant about? I had three orders go out today. Katie, if 
you're watching, you got a charm necklace from me, and it was a share and save, which means you came from my YouTube, so thank you very much. I hope you love her. Um, and I think that's all I wanted to say. I'm pretty sure that's all I wanted to say. I have to go clean before I have someone in my house, and I will see you very soon. Happy pre-show day. Tomorrow is the market. This morning, well, it is Asher's birthday. It is his second birthday, so it is a big day. Uh, we don't really have much planned. I went to the Y. He got to hang out with Littles. He had a fun time. He is sleeping now. He is sleeping now. He is not sleeping. We are not doing well with naps. Um, so we'll see how long that lasts. I still need to finish making his cake. I made it yesterday. If you guys remember um, from last year, if you've been with me since last year, <laughs> Uh, what was it, like, over a million people on TikTok saw my smash cake I made him for his first birthday, and let's just say it was not good. <laughs> um, and I have not made a cake since, but every year, it's just gonna be tradition, we make, well, I make one, so soon he will probably start making them with me. Um, but this year, the goal, they're edible. I make edible cakes. I make box cakes though. I have not ventured someday, maybe next year, who knows, probably not. Um, the goal though is to make, be able to ice it because that is where, that was the downfall last year is the icing portion. So I had like so flooded with comments of people giving me tips of like how they also destroyed a cake and this is how they fixed it. And so I think that I was supposed to freeze it Hopefully I was because it is in the freezer. The cake is. Um, and then I have my icing, not homemade. Everyone said you have to do homemade. I'm still not there yet. So my thing of icing, Aldi's finest, it was a dollar <laughs> um, that I'm going to use. So we have to do that still during his nap. Um, so really in like 10 minutes, we should probably do that. And then when he wakes up, we're going to go to the park. And then when Randy comes home, I have to actually pack up his truck and then... Um, we have some presents for him to open that we didn't have him open for his birthday party. Anyways, I had a, this morning, dentist appointment. It was a cleaning. It was the first cleaning I've had in three to four years. Way too long. You're supposed to get them bi-yearly. <sighs> I did not know there was a difference. So I should have known that it was going to be different than normal when they said, you need a deep cleaning. Um, but to me, I was like, okay, like, cool. Like, give me deep cleaning. Uh, they're probably just gonna spend a little extra time. No, a deep cleaning is not a cleaning. I mean, it is a, it is a cleaning. It is literally, they brought a machine in. I was <laughs> just like, What's that? <laughs> because I already have like really bad pain in my gums and lots of bleeding with like normal cleaning. So I was like, can we like, um, like numb me before you put that in my mouth? And she was like, yes, of course. She's like, um, unfortunately our dentist is not here to give you our, uh, shot anesthetic. And in my brain, I was like, do you think I'm weak? Like, do you think I have to have shots? <laughs> I needed the shots. I needed the shots because she brought a dang power washer into my mouth. It sounded like a drill. Oh, my teeth still hurt. They are throbbing because she was afterwards. She's like, you should probably take some Tylenol. Um, you probably won't need it tomorrow, but today take Tylenol, ibuprofen, whatever. And again, in my mind, I was like, do I look like someone that is a baby? Um, and I am, so she was right. <laughs> I need to take the medicine. It's just, it's very, it's achy. My mouth is achy, but my teeth have not looked better. If you've never had your teeth power washed, <laughs> try it. Try a deep cleaning. I don't know. I've never been offered. Actually, that's a lie. Yeah. No, see, I'm in um, the beginning stages of gum disease. <laughs> and so for me, I need a special treatment regimen. And I do remember, I do recall the last time I went to the dentist, it was a different dentist, I live in a different area now. Um, they said I needed to get on a special 
<laughs> like program. And so that's what I'm on. But the next cleaning is going to be a regular cleaning. And so the, <laughs> the power washer is not coming out, thankfully, that. But I, like down here, I thought that my teeth were just like rotting or something. It was just gunk and that's disgusting. It was just like gunk. They were like, like in the, um, whatever, like, in between area in this area right here it was like discolored like not it wasn't brown but like it was definitely stained and i just thought like that was just my teeth now it wasn't i just needed a power wash so um yeah they look good they feel awful though they feel awful okay so i have updates for you i went ahead i know every time i do it i'm like this is the worst i hate doing it i'm never doing it again but this time was different i think i've done it enough now that i'm just good at it so <laughs> i don't have one issue so i made a couple of these uh tumbler bags everyone thinks that they're running wrist like armbands i used to have one like this they're not they're um tumbler bags you stick it around your like handle area um i put these cute little mushrooms on each of the zippers and I have this one I have my normal anxious one with a little pink mushroom and then I love this one I have my mama mom mommy design and a blue mushroom and she's just so vibrant and neon I love it so much okay and then what I also have done is new bookmarks you guys are going to be well technically you're going to be the last ones to see it but the first ones that i'm showing um even though this is going to get uploaded like a month later so sorry um i am always a month behind on my video so if, when you see something on video just know it came out like a month before so my shorts are like real time my tiktok is real time um, YouTube videos are not okay. So but this one is the newest design. So I need a mushroom guy I have a bunch of these colors, but this is the first one I've made into a bookmark um, And then I have <laughs> Did I show you him? I'm not sure now. I changed it if I did my little whale one So he has a little crab with him. He's so cute I made him a tiny bit shorter because Randy's like they're getting too long like you're making them too long and I took his advice and I took a link off and he's right, it's much better th that way. And then I made volume two of my night, 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 court, night court bookmark. I just added some teal and the moon is also a tealish color. Um, can I say these beads are gonna be the death of me. I hate them. I hate that I'm using them because they are so tiny. I, I, draw, I've, I literally have dropped like probably 20 of them and I cannot find them. They are just so small, um, but I love the color of them. And so I'm gonna use them until I run out of this one and then I'm gonna do a volume three that does not have those beads and I'll do a different color away. <laughs> very, very similar to volume one. If you were wanting the Night Court and they sold out, um, it's literally the same. It's, well, it's not the same, but it's very close, very close. This is a little bit bigger. And then the beads itself, um, I actually cannot find, like the that's my bookmark, my personal bookmark is my volume one <laughs> bookmark. Um, and it is just like di poof disappeared and that's because I have a toddler who loves it. And so it's somewhere, hopefully not in the trash. He's been throwing so much stuff away lately. And did I show you my doggies? I'm not sure, I feel like I probably did. We have a lot of bookmarks. I'm really pleased, really pleased. Um, but I have a green and a blue. I think I showed you them though. I'm pretty bossed on them. Okay, oh, and then I also came out with some belt bag keychains. Oh, they're so cute, they're so cute. Or just like regular keychains, but I made them for like crossbody belt bags. And oh my gosh, I am so obsessed with them. I love them. The materials are kind of expensive and honestly they hurt my hands like no other to cut this uh, wire, which is a good thing. That means it's like quality 
but I need to find a better wire cutter then because I have three and all three I have to just like over and over and over and over to get it but well, that's good though that means that they're not gonna break um but it also means I hate making them so I need to find something that makes them a little easier to make but I love them I love them so much try to get Randy to put it on his work bag and he refused can't imagine why aside from that what I should have done and what I don't have time for is no I'm just kidding I feel like I don't I wanted to make more Stanley charms but honestly like I have a lot of them and I haven't sold many of them I would need to switch out the these and put my business cards on them though because I ran out of them and I don't like how they look anyway so I don't know if I just want to take them off and have them loose I just don't know if that looks professional I just don't think I have enough time to unless I well I could bring the whole punch with me and just do it while I'm at the market because I always like I'm like I'm not gonna have enough time and then I have plenty of time so that could be what we do I think I'll probably make more belt bag I'm gonna make a strawberry version of this and that'll be adorable so yep that is all I have to get off here now I need to do a few things still I had a list okay I need to make strawberry cups I'm all out I made my mystery bookmark labels and I need to print them now on my label machine I need to get all the supplies for that like gathered I think that's what I'm gonna really work on tomorrow is just like putting those mystery bookmarks in I need to get my piggy out my <laughs> like pig I need to just get out now him because I think that's what's gonna house my mystery bookmarks so I need to take that yarn out and where did I let's go I need to pack up great I'm glad I put that on there like I wouldn't remember I need to pack and I need to charge my square battery yes I do I need to milk milk <laughs> milk some cows um no I need to make a my belt bag sign which I can do that tomorrow. So I just need to make sure I have the materials to do that, which I do. They're in one of those bins. Okay. So I think that ends it here. My next video is going to be Mustard Seed Market, where you get to come with me on a three-day journey. My mom's going to be with us um, for most of it, except for Saturday. She'll be there a tiny bit. Um, and I think Sunday she might be there. I don't know. Really, we'll just see. <sighs> I think she'll be there all of Friday and all of Sunday. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. I can't talk. I'm so sorry. Um, and I'll see you in the next week. Bye.